Hey, in this quick tutorial I'll be showing you how to use the basics of resample o 5000, a sampler instrument which comes included with Reaper. Let's jump straight in, shall we? I have already set up an empty track and on that I've routed my MIDI keyboard to the input. So we'll go ahead and add resample o 5000 as an insert plugin. Just quickly search for it here, there it is, and OK. The first thing you'll probably notice about this plugin is the black section at the top here. This shows a view of your sample's waveform. It's empty at the moment because we haven't added in an audio file. The quickest way to import an audio file is to simply drag and drop from your file browser onto the plugin. Now we have the sample in. If I hit a note on my keyboard, you'll hear that it plays the full audio as a one shot. So no matter what key I press, it'll be the same pitch and the same volume every single time. The first thing we'll want to do about that is change the pitch of the sample based on which key I press. And we do that by changing the mode option to semitone shifted note. That will then map the different keys of my MIDI keyboard to semitoned pitches. It's still playing the whole sample as a full one shot, so we can press this tick box down here and what that will do is as soon as I lift my finger off the key, it will stop the sound. That is rather sudden, so we'll just increase the sample's release to about 500 milliseconds, which sounds a bit more natural because instead of just stopping the sound, it's fading out over the amount of time we've set the release to. What we can also add in is volume velocity, and to do that we're going to change the minimum volume control. We'll set that to minus infinity for now. So when I play the MIDI keyboard softer, it will play the sample quieter. What we can also do is zoom in and zoom out of the waveform by scrolling, which is handy to see if you want a more detailed look at the sample. Moving on, you might have already noticed this sample has its own starting sound, but we can make our own by moving the start boundary of the sample. We do this by clicking and dragging on the side of the waveform section, and you can do the same with the end of the sample. Now we can make our own attack to K and release by clicking and dragging on the points on the waveform or by using the controls below. It still however is acting as a one shot if I press and keep a hold of a key on my MIDI keyboard. We can add a loop by checking this option and that will just loop this section around. It does however sound pretty choppy because we haven't tried to make any proper loop points in our sample. We can just mask that a little by increasing the crossfade control which makes it a bit more natural. And lastly we'll turn up the maximum amount of voices. We'll say 16 because the default of 4 is quite low if you're wanting to play chords and 16 should give us more than enough room And that's the basics of Resample Omatic 5000. I hope you find this video useful. 